Right, so the other day when I woke up, I was getting bombarded with notifications. Now this was around one or two o'clock in the morning for me, which is insane. Usually I'm awake through uh, reasons I don't really want to disclose. But anyway, I was awake, just scrolling the phone, as you probably shouldn't do. And I got a notification from Sea of Thieves. I found out that they mentioned me in a tweet, and I thought, oh boy, this has to be good. So when I clicked on the notification, the first thing I seen was my mustache looking ass pirate, and I thought to myself, God damn, that's pretty hot. And the tweet mentioned as followed. This week, we shine the creator spotlight on the Australian myth-busting pirate, Cynical, who's actually not very cynical at all. Be blinded by his wisdom and golden skin here. Now, of course, this freaked me out. I sort of cried like a little girl, as you can see by my uh, Conan O'Brien emoji. I was freaked out. But anyway, nevertheless, the first thing I'd done when I found out about this was clicked on the little link right here. Now, this was officially my creator crew spotlight. And oh my god, is it glorious. Look at that mustache. Just look at that. Look at it. Anyway, so essentially this article was just a little thing spotlighting me for the week. And of course, I'm very grateful and thankful for this opportunity. Thank you everyone at Rare for giving me the spotlight for just a little bit. It means the world. And it's really cool to see just a 20 year old like me to be featured on a website as big as this. It's really awesome. But anyway, enough about that. So essentially what it was, it was a little spotlight showcasing me. And of course the big header on the page said this. Pirates from all over the globe venture into the Sea of Thieves, and this one has come down or up from down under. For anyone who's cynical about anything in Sea of Thieves, we have the Australian myth-busting pirate himself, Cynical, to prove you wrong. We asked him some questions as in... We asked him... Well, dab, 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 I can talk. We asked him some... Oh my god. Three times now. We asked him some questions on his adventures into the Shroud, and here's what he had to say. So this was a Q&A that was done with me a while ago. And of course, with this came a custom video that I made, especially for the creator crew. So that's going to be linked on their website. I'm going to link it down in the description if you want to see it. It's just a little video showcasing on how I can record gameplay with software and hardware. It's pretty much what I use. So if you're looking at getting into the world of creating content or streaming, that's a really good place to start if you want to know what to use to capture your gameplay. And there was a plethora of questions that was asked to me. Of course, it's a really cool photo. Thank you for using that. And it was just really, really fun to look into. As of course, as it says here, you really get to have a look into my life and as well as a creator and just as a Sea of Thieves fan, it's really cool. So I thought, hey, in this video, why don't I just go through the questions and sort of elaborate and just give some more explanations into what I said. Although everything's pretty much there, I'm sure it just mean a bit to everyone who didn't know about this or just someone who wants to know a little bit more about me. Also, I do apologize if you did see this four or five days ago, depending on when this video actually goes up. But unfortunately, well not unfortunately, I've got a new doggo in the family, so I had to look after that and that's taken up most of my time. But anyway, better late than never, right? So without further ado, how about we just get into the first question? So the first question they asked me was what my introduction to the world of games was. As I said there, I was introduced to the Nintendo 64 and the GameCube by my family. Of course, this was a very, very long time ago. This was way back in the day. I was talking, I was four or five when I was playing these games. And just through over the course of my life, I sort of evolved, played games a little bit more heavily, probably more than I should have going through schooling. But nevertheless, it did become a staple part of my life. And even to this day, I still find myself playing games just for the sake of it, not only for creating content and doing it as my job, but essentially, I still play games just for the hell of playing games and enjoying it. And then following that, they did ask me, how did I become part of the Sea of Thieves community? And this one was very simple. One of my favorite games of all time, this is going back to the Nintendo 64, was Donkey Kong Country. And ever since then, I've sort of had a sweet spot in my heart for everything Rare do. That also includes Viva Pinata, if you remember that. I'm not ashamed to admit it, I played that game a fair bit. And of course, now Sea of Thieves. And that was sort of the essential part of how I got into Sea of Thieves and how I was introduced to it for the first place. The next question they asked is how did creating content become my thing? Still to this day, I have no idea how it became my thing. But essentially, over the course of a couple days, I just got boosted up through the ranks. I went from nobody to a slightly more popular nobody in literally three days. It was really crazy. And here we are now to a slightly more popular, more popular nobody, which is really crazy still. But nevertheless though, I just originally started creating content because one of the first videos I made was just a video with myself, Moss, and just a couple randoms that I played with when The Hungering One came out. We just uploaded that for the sake of enjoying it and watching it. And of course, it sort of spiraled and snowballed and just got bigger and bigger and bigger, and then literally just <laughs> happened, popular. Well, not really popular, but popular. After that, the next question they hit me with was, uh, how did I decide what type of content I wanted to create? Now, this was very, very simple for me. I knew from the start that if I was going to be a YouTuber as such, it was going to be gaming related. Of course, I never planned to be a YouTuber at all. It literally just happened overnight. I only created videos to enjoy them. 
I didn't even try and branch out or collaborate with anyone. I literally just woke up and there was just a influx of people who followed my content. Now, again, I'm very thankful for that. I don't think I deserved it. Well, I know I don't deserve it, but I'm very thankful for it. That was thunder. <laughs> and of course, they moved on to the next question, which was talking about what challenge I faced while creating content. I know this one was a very big one. Also, sorry if you had a dog in the background. This is a very big thunderstorm, so I'm going to have to wrap this video up very soon. But nevertheless, the biggest challenge that I faced was always reminding myself that no matter what content I posted, there was always going to be a small section of people that didn't enjoy it and absolutely hated what I'd done. That's really the hardest part for me when it comes to making videos. I've sort of accepted now that not everything I do, or anything I do at all, is going to have people who don't particularly like it. Of course, all the positive always outshines the hate, but nevertheless, it is a bit confronting when you first start doing this, so that's something to look out for, and it's something that really, uh, really became a problem as such to me. And following on there, they asked about what different channels I had. Now, this is a great time to plug. I've got my main YouTube channel, which is, of course, the one you're watching this video on, and my real life channel, which is also linked down over on my channel section. You can look at the featured channels, and it's like right at the top. That's just more real life stuff and music stuff. Um, you know, just a different type of channel that isn't gaming. I rarely post on it, though. This is still the best place to go to. After that, they asked about my most memorable moment in Sea of Thieves. Of course, I think my standout was definitely reaching the Pirate Legend because that was really, really fun and happened just before the Megalodon event released. So it led to some very interesting conversations with like people I played with. And of course, Moss, he didn't believe that I was Pirate Legend at all until I showed him the cool purple stuff and he freaked out. Then a year later, he got it as well. You know, better late than never. Then after that, they asked me, what do I enjoy most about the game? And I've always said this from the start. The best thing about Sea of Thieves is it's open world. You can create your own fun and do whatever you want. There's no restrictions as to what you do. As long as it's within the game mechanic, you can complete it. More thunder. And they also asked what I was looking forward to in the future. To that, I pretty much just said some new areas and whatnot. That'd be really cool. Then they asked me about what I'm particularly proud of when it comes to um, Sea of Thieves. And uh, of course, it was reaching Athena's Fortunes as Pirate Legend. That was really great. Then they asked me about my channel name. I've explained that in my uh, 20k subscribers video. They asked me some advice about new creators. I thought I pretty much said collaborate with other people. That's the best way you can gain exposure and grow if you really want to try and make it. Or just get really lucky too. Then after that, they asked what's the one thing I'd advise any content creator not to do. And of course, that was just to create content for the fame of it. You don't do that. That's not something that'll get you anywhere in my personal opinion. Because there's always going to be people who truly follow you that are going to feel disconnected from what you do because they can see that you've got some sort of ulterior, 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 I can't talk, alternative motive. And they finished up asking me, could they give us some more random facts about myself? And to that, I pretty much said creating music. I really do creating music when I'm not making videos. It's pretty awesome. And then they finished it up with uh, just sort of thanking me for letting him have a look into my life. And of course, this was really, really cool. But nevertheless, I knew this was coming for a while, but it really did take me back when it did get released. Of course, thank you so much, Che, for uh, giving me the opportunity to do this. You've been an incredible support throughout this whole process, and of course, it's been really cool. I get that this video sort of had no motive and had no structure, but I just sort of wanted to release it because I found it really enjoyable, and it was just really makes me happy. And I thought, you know what, I'm just going to make this video because some people don't have me on Twitter, some people don't use Twitter, and some people have no idea that this actually happened. So nevertheless, though, if you want to actually have a look at this article and get involved in the creator crew, the top link of the description well just actually just under the discord link i'm going to put this link here so you can have a look so anyway hopefully this video has been somewhat enjoyable for you guys if not just please um you know leave a comment tell me what you think of it if you like these type of videos i could probably do more as we move forward i'm sort of branching out the channel as you can see by the changes i've done in my discord so it's not just going to be straight sea of thieves it's just going to be a channel for generally uploading content which i'm sure in the long run will be good but nevertheless it could be a bit of a rocky start to begin with